Hey there, it's Kathy with Be Creative with Kathy, and um, I'm back. <laughs> I missed last week. I was moving my daughters around Nebraska and Iowa for college and trying to get one of them home and all that nonsense. But So I hope you missed me. I hope you noticed I wasn't here. But anyway, so today, because it's my first day back, we're just going to do a real quick, a real quick, simple pocket card looks like this. Now, I don't have any of the measurements because to be honest with you, I cut all my paper before I left last week and so I don't remember what the measurements are, but they're on my blog, BeCreativeWithKathy.com. They'll all be there as soon as I finish, well, this video on Facebook and then I'll post it to YouTube and then I get it onto Wix. So it takes me a while onto my blog. So give me a few minutes and then it'll be there. We're going to use the In Bloom Bundle. Now this bundle is available in your mini catalog through the end of June, and then it'll be in the new catalog, but not as a bundle. So if this is a bundle you've been eyeing, be sure and get it before the end of June so you can save the 10% on the two of them together. Okay, I have my um, pieces here, so let's just go ahead and get stamping. I'm going to start, I just have a scrap white here. I don't know, like I said, the sizes of anything. So I'm going to just grab this You Mean the World to Me, and we're going to use that Happy Birthday one. I think it says Happy Birthday, You Are the Best, but we're going to do that one there. And then we have a little flower. I'm going to just stamp a little flower on the inside, so I'm going to go ahead and put him on a block too. So here's my little flower, and here are my words. Whoops, too much. There we go. And then my inside happy birthday all right there ready to go on the little piece of whisper white no, 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 basic white i'm going to stamp the words you mean so much to me and i'm going to put them toward the bottom because i'm going to put this in my punch and i want to give it room at that bottom this um, we're going to use the double oval punch looks like this and I want to use this one so I'm going to stamp it toward the bottom so I can get down to the bottom but anyway and then I have a piece of basic white here that is the inside of my card or it's going to be that little piece that fits in the pocket and I'm going to just stamp this happy birthday and did I say I'm just stamping it in black memento ink just a any black would do. You could use stays on, except remember, stays on a stain, stain, your stamps toward the memento won't. Okay, we're done with the black now. And then I'm gonna just take our new polished pink. I absolutely love this color, this new really pretty, pretty pink. It's an in color. And I'm gonna set that right there. Let that ink sink in, especially because it's a nice solid stamp. But look how pretty that is. Okay, let's set those aside. So then I have some black cardstock here, three pieces that are gonna match. This one will go on here. Whoop. And then I have designer series paper. And now this is from the True Love designer series paper. It's also in the mini catalog and available until the end of June. And I have to decide, do I want the flowers or do I want the, I think I want this designer series paper. So I'm gonna get my, oh, and it's a brand new seal, so let me get it going. There we go. Well, okay, we're gonna just layer this right here. And like I said, I don't remember the measurements, but they're all on my blog. We did this card as mystery stamping um, at my team meeting, and uh, everybody seemed to love it, so I decided I might as well do a video and show how I put mine together. And I'm really, I can't believe a week's time how I feel like I have to start learning how to make videos all over again. It's kind of funny how just a little bit of time really messes with you. Put a little bit of adhesive on the back of this one and layer this on this black here. I think too, because we traveled I mean, hours, we'd drive like four to five hours a few days a week when I was gone last week. And I think that really took a toll on me too. I'm not used to that traveling. Okay, so this is a piece of thick Whisper White. I've scored it, I believe, at two and a half and six and a half. And I'm gonna just fold on those score lines, making sure it lines up here at the edge and try to get a crisp fold here. 
and then do the same thing to this side. So you can see we have a smaller side. Well, this is the smaller side here, which is gonna be our pocket. And then we have the longer side, which is gonna be the flap. But these pieces fit on there just right. So now I'm gonna lay these on the pocket front and the flap. I'll do it this way so I can get it straight. There we go. And then let's cover the front pocket or the front of the pocket with this piece. I am out of practice. I feel like I have jet lag. I'm gonna just lay this one right here. All right. So now to make our pocket, I'm going to use liquid glue. This one's almost gone, so we'll see if I can use the last little bit of this one, but I wanna glue my pocket shut like this. However, I wanna make sure that this piece will fit in my pocket. So I have just a little bit of room here for my glue. So I'm gonna just kind of set him here so I can see how skinny I'm gonna make my glue, if that makes sense. I don't wanna mess up my pocket. I don't wanna glue my cardstock in there. I wanna be able to take it out and put it back in because that's where I'll write my sentiment. But I'm gonna sit there and now let that dry because now I have the, the liquid glue on there and Tombow Multi-Purpose Liquid Glue will dry sticky and then it won't gush. It's gonna just sit nice where I want it. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, let's do some die cutting. I'm gonna use these dies here, which now happen to be my favorite dies of all time. Not just of right now, but of all time, these little stitch flowers are just adorable. So the plates for my mini cutting machine are, we're gonna use the plate number one and plate number two, and then I'm gonna try and lay my little flowers here, and then I'll set that up on my die cut machine. So there's the little flower, and then we need a little bit of yellow Move this down so I have more room. Those little insides of my flower, just these little yellow things. And then we need a little leaf for our flower. So I'm gonna just take one of these here and lay that like that. Okay, let me put this away so I don't lose any pieces. Bring in the die cut machine, a little cute guy right here. And then that last cutting pad, I'm just gonna lay it on top let me move this out of the way so we don't get any glue on my paper. And then I'm gonna just run that right here. Make sure my paper doesn't move through my little emboss machine, my die cut machine or the little boss, my new buddy here. Okay, so now we have our little flowers. I have the little pink one. I have the little inside. And I have a leaf. The other one's in there, but I'm gonna just leave them in there for another time. Put all of this away. Throw this with my dice too. And then I'm gonna take that double oval punch, like I said, and put, look how perfect that you mean so much to me fits in there. This too happens to be my new favorite punch. And I know right now it's not available, but it'll be available the end of May. So hang on it'll be coming pretty soon. Oops, and then I need to punch a Daffodil Delight of that top oval. Let me show you another trick. So if you have trouble with your punches sticking, make sure that, see how I have a little bit of paper sticking out here? And then it punches better. It doesn't get caught up in the punch under here. So make sure you have a little bit of cardstock sticking in the bottom so it doesn't get your punch stuck. And if you don't know what I mean, good for you. That means your punch has never gotten stuck. <laughs> and that's a good thing. So a little bit of adhesive on the back of my words. And lay that right here on that oval. I think it's supposed to be a scalloped oval. But it looks more like a sunshine to me. There we go. We're going to take and put a little bit of Tombow glue in the center of the flower here and lay that little white piece, or yellow, it's Daffodil Delight piece right there. Let's bring back our card. I think that glue has dried enough. In fact, you can tell because it's almost clear. 
And I'm gonna lay that down, make sure that's in the center. And now I know that I've missed the edges of my pocket here. And I'm gonna hold those down and make sure they stick really well. Now you could use um, tear and tape here, but see, I think it's too wide. I think the stamp and seal plus is too wide here. I think the liquid glue is the way to go. But now there we go, look. And then we have our little pocket. Also in your pocket, you could put a gift card in there. Look how cute that is. You could put cold hard cash in there. Lots of stuff would work in that pocket too. But this little flower needs a little bit of bling. So I have here the Playing With Patterns da, Resin Gems, Resin Dots, something like that. I don't know exactly, but they're the Playing With Patterns. And I'm going to put this yellow one right here in the center of my flower. So it kind of coordinates with these flowers here. And then another one of these I'm going to use, I'm going to take these um, purple posies and I'm going to use a polished pink dark Stampin' Blends. And I'm going to just color that purple posy just to give it a little pink. And then let that alcohol evaporate or let that dry. And we'll put that on the front of our, on the inside of our flower here. Okay, so this I'm going to just pop up on some dimensionals. I'm going to put it a little bit to the right here, centered up and down. And I am glad I picked this horizontal or this diagonal pattern of designer series paper. I think that looks pretty good. And then on the back of this one, I'm going to just take my little leaf right here and like position it between the two little petals of the flower. And just with the dimensional, I'm going to hold that on there. And in fact, I think I can fit another dimensional on there. I'm going to go ahead and put another one on there too, just so he's nice and sturdy. If you can't see it, it's good. Okay, and then take my little flower here next to my greeting there. Look how cute that is. And then let's get that little piece up there and put it right. Oh, there it go. There we go. Put it. <laughs> okay, fine. I think he got some blending pen underneath him and now he doesn't want to stick. So we'll put a little bit of glue in. Don't give him the choice. Hold him down there. There, now he's sticking good. So there you go. There's your card. Yay, I survived my first video back from vacation. I have to tell me what you think. I think it's a really cute card. In fact, let me show you. I got the idea from her name is Beverly Derringer. And she did a card. Now, if you recognize the designer series paper, you'll know how long ago she gave me this card. We did it at a Rose Hill camp. And look how cute Bev's is with the little butterflies and the sprig. So that's where I got the idea. Thanks, Bev. And then this is my take on it. So if you want to make the card, be sure and go over and visit my um, blog, BeCreativeWithKathy.com. I'll have the information over there just shortly. Give me just a few minutes to download the video and get all the measurements um, copied and pasted or put, moved over, or whatever you say when you move your stuff. Also, there's lots of stuff going on with Stampin' Up! So if you've ever been interested in becoming a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can support your habit by just doing a simple class a month and then um, you also get a discount too. So if you have any questions like that, be sure and give me a, a holler. Thanks for watching and we'll see you back Friday. Have a good week. Bye-bye.